And for this video, it is going to be a custom Black World Spriggan. I'm saying custom, right? So nobody tries to be like, oh my god, yeah, you, you said, you said it was custom. Wait, no, why would they complain that I said it's custom, that I didn't say it's custom, whatever. Uh, this looks pretty cool. It was a fun little custom to do. It, it, it's nothing like, it's, 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 you know, it's all right. It's like the other ones I've done where I've done custom paints on uh, the thing. I'm actually more surprised they never made this, uh, considering the fact that uh, they've done Black Spring and Requiem. So why didn't they do the, this? This is this is like really cool. So I know what you're wondering now. What about the back? I want to take this apart. So the thing is with the back, it's like it's already black there. So how do you do that solution where you make it look appealing uh, without it uh, just being blank? Well, uh, we painted that part uh, silver. I thought it'd be a cool idea. And they definitely should do this as a recolor for World. <sighs> they really should. It just looks cool. And I thought of using either the black uh, Zeta Dash or the black uh, Merge Dash. Make sure to leave a like and leave a comment, by the way. Uh, this was just a fun one to do. I, I, I guess we'll do like a test launch in battles. I'm a little bit hesitant. Uh, now the thing is when it comes to doing these custom jobs is that uh, the paint does come off, right? And there's nothing I can do about it. Now the thing is like this paint's not, it, it's, meant, it's meant for things that don't spin like Beyblades, right? So if you put it on things that spin like Beyblades, what do you think's gonna happen? It does look uh, really cool like this. Like, that does look really awesome. Like, I think we can all agree, you know, in the comments, hey, that looks pretty good. Yeah, you can see the silver, it, it, it works together. It uh, goes in hand with the black there. I was gonna say the trash. Uh, yeah, I, I kinda wanna have it work on both ends, just so it makes sense. So that's uh, with the left side. So we'll start off with the left side and then we'll move to the right side. So I guess I'll make a battle against Super King Days. I'm a little bit hesitant, but uh, I don't really think too many battles will matter that much. Although I will be careful with the rage. I gotta use the rage where the sticker's kind of gone there because that's the one I've been putting the paints up against. So we'll put it up against uh, some lefts and we'll see uh, how it performs. So I've got Mirage Fafnir. Oh no, the World Spriggan has the super powerful ability of darkness now. Like uh, Phi, when his phoenix turns black. And they never really did that cool thing anymore where one in every 72 and you get it and yeah. When was the last one they even did that for? I'm trying to remember. I think it was actually, uh, what, what was I thinking of? Well, what was the last bay they did that for? I, I, I think it was, was it Chosey Achilles that did that whole thing? Like where they actually did the gimmick and they actually, like the whole thing, oh, you buy all these boxes. Yeah, because after that there was Gold Turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess this is fun to watch. Cool Spriggan. Huh? Huh? It, it looks... It looks nice. It looks nice. And just like that, it's still Fafnir. All right, let's launch it another time. Right, the gimmicks is the same thing and everything. Also, a fun fact that the chip is actually defective. The metal in the middle is slanted for some reason. So yeah, thank God uh, I used that one just for a custom. Just because, I don't know why. Chip was uh, defective. I, I, I think you can kind of notice it, but you can just see it's kind of like, it's like just weirdly pushed to the side. I've tried applying force to it. Uh, nothing really works sadly, so I am stuck with it like that. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, now raised is like a paint. Yeah, it's it's getting a little bit of. Uh, I think uh, the black paint's not as hard. Uh, no, it it is harder to get off than uh, normal paint would. Than like the other paints I've used before. I mean. I'm gonna keep note of that. This is uh, still a cool custom. I hope Rage doesn't take off all the paint. We should be good. I mean, the stadium walls will probably get it, but that's, I don't really care about. That was nice. And nothing still. That's rage. Okay, let's do two more before we switch this to right. I, I, the more I'm battling with this, the more I actually wish they did a recolor with this. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's switch this now to right spin. So I've had this in uh, fixed the whole time. So I'm just gonna, I'm really worried about uh, this thing because since the paint hardened, a little harder to switch uh, modes, but okay, we're in free spin and I'm gonna give it Zeta Dash. So let's do a quick test launch in free spin. Right? See, that looks really cool. If you just took an image of just uh, that, that, that uh, sprig and spinning, they would just think it's sprig and requiem. Ah, but it's not. World sprig and. Oh, let's do world versus rage, and then I'll get other bays. No! It just KO'd itself for no reason. It's gonna be one of those things, isn't it? Well, it's uh, gonna be fun to battle, so. I don't think this one can burst, too. I think it's just that powerful. It'll lose, but I don't think it can burst. No, I say this, but it just got to the middle. Maybe I spoke too soon. And this is fun, isn't it? Okay, who else do we get? I'll throw in Glide. Who else do I throw in? I'll do Brave, because people always want to see Brave. And I'll do Super Hyperion. And no, I think that'll be it. Just because I think I picked a good amount of uh, bays with this one. I don't really want it to lose too badly either. Uh, I mean, I say that, but I just, I, I just realized I just put it against a pretty big heavy headers, but uh, still. Okay, let's just go one by one. Glide Ragnarok, oh no, I wonder what'll happen. Could it burst? No way, will Ragnarok burst? Probably, it actually might not. Oh. Well, I mean, we're gonna do another round, so I don't know why Ragnarok's getting excited. Okay, now let's see.
I'll take what I can get. Take it down, Brave. With your might. I don't know why my evolution. Oh no, because, okay, yeah, because I just hit it. Never mind, it's low on stamina, no wonder. It's wondering for a second, like, ah, oh, yeah, Brave, are you okay? Okay, just to make sure. Yeah, my thing should be flat. I think just because the surface isn't really that flat. Okay, let me just do a test. I just want to make sure this is really awakened. Yeah, that's pretty awakened to me, so... Makes sense. I mean, that's gonna. That's the. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, if you do this thing with super high period, it's just gonna happen the same. Yeah, it's gonna have a lot of rotation, but then after when the speed goes down, it's gonna just uh, go to the center and just kind of stall. Yeah, I mean, that's really expected to be honest. So. You know, not really a surprise. And nice. All right, so final thoughts just to conclude with. Uh, did I like it? Uh, yeah, it was a cool alternative uh, to World Spriggan. TT, please make this. And that's going to be it for now. <laughs> you know, I mean, that really is it. I mean, this was just fun for the little video and everything. I don't think I'll do anything else outside of it uh, for this video. It is a custom and paint will eventually wear down, so I don't really want to, uh, you know, do anything bad with it. I even have this Sperry Knight Driver, which is the one positive uh, to getting a Sparrow's uh, World Spring and Open. It is this very lovely driver, just so I can have one fresh if I ever want to use it. But, uh, yeah. I'll probably do more customs in the future. It depends uh, with future releases, but I'll probably uh, just uh, get it ending for here. So thank you all for watching. Have an awesome, amazing day.